Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna to be my last part of my 2017 favorites. And I'm gonna be talking all about my skincare favorites today. So this video might be a little bit lengthy. And I have my hair in a bun here today. Um, I saw this meme on Instagram. It was like, if you can rock a messy bun, you're blessed. And I just wanna let you know, if you can, you're freaking blessed. Cause like my hair always like, it is such a struggle to get it in a bun that looks halfway decent. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started, talk about some skincare favorites. So this year I've been really into skincare. Um, the beginning of the year, I really noticed that I was struggling with a lot of acne. Um, and that's something that I've struggled with my whole life. And just to give you guys a little bit of background about myself, I'm 24 years old. Um, I will be 25 in about three months. So I'm getting up there in age. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I know I'm still young. Um, but for my age, I feel like I shouldn't still have acne. I've had acne my whole entire life. My mother is 61 years old and she still has acne. So it's something that I kind of knew I was going to have forever just based on like her experience. So along with aging, I still have to fight acne and that's something that I need in my skincare routine. So in March of this year, um, my husband for my birthday decided that he would pay for me to go to a dermatologist because he knew that I was really like complaining about I had so much acne like around my jawline. Um, it was those really deep like under the skin pimples that just do not go away. So um, he graciously like was listening to my complaints about my skin um, and that I really wanted to get like fillers in like kind of here, the 11s and then also around my mouth um, because I noticed that my makeup is settling into those. So I think he was just sick of hearing me talk about it and um, he was like, well, I'll just, I'll pay for you to go to the dermatologist. So thank you to him. Um, and when I went, I let them know like what my concerns were and they put me on um, spiralactin and it's a medication that I'd never heard of before and it's only for females because it is like a hormonal type medication and I do take birth control. I take microgestin, I believe is what it's called and I've been on that for about two, I've been on that specific birth control for about two years now. I've been on birth control for almost 10 years in general um, and I've always taken the pill. It's just what has worked for me, but um, it's never completely gotten rid of my acne and especially like under the skin type acne. Um, I really needed something to help me with that. So. My dermatologist, she's super awesome. She's super into skincare, obviously. And like, I always tell her what I'm using and she's like, that sounds so great. Like you really seem to know like what you are using. And that is because of Stephanie Nicole. I totally love her channel. Like I love her recommendations. She's so knowledgeable. And I just like anything she talks about, I have to try because like, she's so great. She totally knows what she's talking about. So anyway, um, I had been trying a bunch of things, which I'm gonna talk about here. But none of the stuff that I was using was like helping me with my deep acne problem, like the um, cystic acne that I was kind of having. So my dermatologist put me on Spiralactin and I originally took it, I'll put the name on the screen because I doubt I'm saying it right. It has like a super long name. And she originally put me on the 50 milligram. Yes, the 50 milligram is what she originally put me on. And then um, the next time I went back to her in about three months, I think I went back to her around June or July time and we upped it to 100 milligrams. So I just started taking two of the 50 milligram tablets every day and it like completely saved my life. Like I really don't have a ton of acne anymore. If I do, it'll be just in this um, area right here on my face or like right around my period, which is totally fine. Um, Cause I, I know how to deal with it now with some of the other products that she prescribed to me. But my skin is so much better. Um, I think that medication, if it's something that, you know, you go to the term dermatologist and they recommend, I obviously see a doctor about it. I don't think you can get it like other than a prescription, but I just want to like let you know if that's something that you struggle with as well with your skin. I've never heard of that medication before. And if you are like, you know, mid twenties to like early thirties and you're still struggling with acne, it's probably gonna be something that you're gonna have for the rest of your life. And that's just something that I like realize now. That's something that I'm just prepared for. And I have like a medication that is going to help me like internally get that, get rid of that acne. Because 
for me, I my skin doesn't like natural things. Um, I know that there's nothing that I can take that is naturally going to get rid of it. So I'm like a chemical medication girl all the way. Um, but if that's something that you sound interested in, definitely make an appointment with like your local dermatologist. Talk to them about it. Um, I just feel like it is such a miracle medication for me. So enough about that, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about all the topical treatments that I've been using. So I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna try to do like morning, I'm gonna try to do like the order that I do it in and then like morning and nighttime, I'm gonna try to do that as best as I can. So the first thing here that I have is a cleanser. This is what I've been using in the morning time. This is the Lush Let the Good Times Roll. And this is such a nice like exfoliating cleanser. That's what it looks like. I'm almost done with it. And I had used this like years back and I th I was thinking, and I, I'm pretty sure that it was limited edition around the fall time, like previously, but now it's like a permanent item. So I got this around um, September of this year, and I had ordered some like Halloween bath bombs and stuff, and I saw this was available, so I was like, ah, oh, yay! Like I had to have it back in my life. So I went ahead and picked it up, and I love this in the morning time to just exfoliate like any excess dead skin that you may have on. Um, your face from like the night before if you're using like any type of chemical exfoliators. This is such an awesome um, physical exfoliator for your face. It's very gentle but at the same time I think it does a wonderful job of getting like any type of dead skin off of your face in the morning time. So what I've been using in the evening to get my makeup off my face, um, I feel like I've become very picky about what I use to remove my like face makeup um, because I had used like a product in the past that made me break out and even though it was something that I was just using to get my makeup off like and I wash my face right afterwards I feel like it was kind of fueling some breakouts so now that I've found something that I think is really good for my skin um before washing my face and also like I can use this like I've been using this the past two days because it's like the holidays and I've had to go to a like Christmas party type thing every day like this weekend like Friday Saturday and today Sunday I'm wearing one um I've been like up late and when I get home I just want to take my makeup off and go to bed so I've been using this product just to take my makeup off and then I haven't been washing my face like afterwards and my skin has been doing fine which I don't recommend that 100% all the time but if you're lazy and you need something that's gonna work great this is the nude perfect cleanse um, it's kind of like a jelly like a cleansing jelly and as of now this is discontinued I don't know if they're bringing this um, brand back but I've heard this recommendation from Stephanie Nicole and then over the springtime I think it was um, they had brought a bunch of stuff back on Sephora and it was like all on clearance I guess to get rid of it so I bought three of these um, this is the first one that I'm on I'm pretty much used most of it up so far um, and I'm really gonna be sad when this is like gone because it's really nice um, but I really do hope that they do bring the nude brand back somewhere like Sephora Beautylish Ulta some even the drugstore that'd be awesome if we could like still get this stuff but this is really really nice all I do is I take some on my finger I'll start on one cheek put more on the other and then do some on my forehead and I'll just rub it it feels so nice and luxurious um, and you can just see all your makeup melting off I don't use this on my eyes I have something separate for my eyes that I'll show you but I'll use it on my lips to get like lipstick liquid lipstick off and then I'll take some like warm just a little bit of like warm water to get it wet and kind of rub it in and it um, helps it the makeup kind of get off a little bit more and then I'll take one of these um, little microfiber wipes. This one here, my mother-in-law got me in a set that's called the Erase Your Face Wipes. And these ones are really like big and long, but those are nice. And then this is from, I think the Rag Company is what it's called. It's little white ones. I got like half a dozen of those a while back. And I'll wet one of those with like really hot warm water and then just take all the makeup off my face. So that has been my favorite nighttime makeup removing cleanse regimen. Um, and then after I've done that, I'll use my Clarisonic. This is the Mia 2 and the brush head I have on it is the Radiance brush head. I've been through probably about four to six of these now and I, I religiously change it every six months. Um, and this Radiance brush head I think is really, really nice. I don't like the sensitive one. I feel like the sensitive one is like not sensitive. Um, from what I remember, I think I went through like two of those back when I first got this. And I feel like they were kind of rough. And then I also have used the deep pore one, the acne one. 
I think I've used the deep pore and the acne. There's like a blue one and a green one. I didn't like either of those. I feel like they made me break out more. The Radiance brush had it small with like the pink in the center, which I love how it like matches the actual Clarisonic that I have. It is my absolute favorite brush head. It's really soft, but it's also like abrasive enough to like clean your face off. So I've had this Clarisonic for three years, over three years now, about three and a half, and it's never like strayed me wrong. I love it so much. I'm scared that like one day it is gonna like quit working. I'm gonna have to get another one, but that's okay because I love it so much. And you can see like the writing on the back that used to be there is like completely worn off. <laughs> but I love my Clarisonic Mia 2. And what I use on it, the facial soap, this is the Clinique Foaming Sonic Facial Soap. And this is something that if you have like dry sensitive skin, you are not gonna like because it foams up a ton and it almost leaves your skin feeling stripped, which actually in a cleanser for me, that's something that I look for. I love that feeling. I love feeling like my skin is clean. And now like all the things that I use balance that out and I don't have any issues with that, but I really love how this like feels. Um, and it's so nice and foamy. It just lathers all up. I love it with the Clarisonic. I had a sample size of this earlier this year and I had to buy the full size and I love that cleanser so much. So what I use on my eyes to get all my like eye makeup off is the Maybelline Clean Express. And I spoke about this in um, my most recent empties video. I think I had like one of these left and you cannot find this in stores anymore. I feel like I get out of breath talking so much. So I used to be able to find this in select Walmarts, not every Walmart, but um, it'd be in the Maybelline makeup section, like on the bottom shelf, just hidden away that have like one to two bottles at a time. And I'd always buy like as much as I could find because it's so nice. I love the tiny little um, opening. That's a big like factor for me. I love that not a ton comes out. Like the Neutrogena makeup remover is really good, but it's just like a, I have a piece of tape on my finger. That's weird. But the Neutrogena one is just like a big giant like opening. And so when you pour it out, it kind of gets like everywhere on your little cotton round. But this one you could control like how much comes out. And I found this on the Walmart website. Um, I can't remember how much it was exactly. I'll put it up here. But um, I found it again. So I just ordered a ton of them. So I have like a ton of them. And I'm so glad I have this back in my life. I really hope they're not permanently discontinuing it. And I'll try to leave the link that like I found it down below um, when I put like the name of this down there. That way you can go directly to it. And it's just so amazing. Um, it's my favorite cleanser, like my favorite waterproof eye makeup remover. And there are alternatives that I'll use if I can't find this, but this one just, it like meets all the marks for me. And I love it so much in Maybelline. Please keep it around, bring it back in store. Like, it's amazing. It's the best makeup remover you'll ever use. So my favorite toner of the year, I'm pretty sure I bought this last winter is when like it came out and I originally purchased it. This is the Sunday Riley Martian toner and I also have a miniature of it and I've been through a full size of this. I recently repurchased this one a couple months ago um, and I'm like halfway through, you can kind of see with that one. This is the one I always take traveling with me. This is such a nice toner. It's like a really cool consistency. It's not a liquid. Um, I really like the Clinique, like the step toners. It's like the three step system or whatever, the liquid toners that they have. But this one is just like, it's better. It's expensive, but um, it's nice for the morning and the evening. I normally use this in the evening. It's almost the consistency of a really thin lotion. So I'll pump this out on a cotton round, just put it all over my face. And I don't know what about it, just makes my skin feel so nice. And I just love it so much. It's pricey, but I thought when I used the full one of my other one, I wasn't gonna repurchase it. And when I ran out, I was just like so sad. So I had to buy another one and I can't live without this toner. So I think if you're oily, acne prone, this is a fabulous toner for you. And then something that I use on my skin when it's very dry and dehydrated feeling, because I'm pretty combination. Um, there are times when I use a ton of like chemical-y products that they do eventually dry my skin out. This is the May Coop Raw Sauce, and I have a little baby one. I've been through a full size of the big one as well. This is my second one. And unfortunately this, isn't on Sephora anymore. It used to be. So I don't know um, if I can find it anywhere else that you can buy it. I'll put it down below. If not, this may be being discontinued from like the US because I think this is a 
Malaysian beauty brand or Korean, I'm not entirely sure, but um, Maycoop, the only product by them that was ever available in Sephora, to my knowledge, was this raw sauce. And it's so amazing. They have a ton more products that I wish like would come to the US and try like so I could try them because this is a um, maple water. Yeah, it's like a maple water and it's it has properties in it that are supposed to penetrate really deeply into your skin and like hydrate from within. So it's like a it's like a saucy. It's like a liquidy, but it's a thicker liquid. I don't know. It's really amazing. Um, if this ever comes back, like snatch this up and buy it if you have any type of like dryness in your skin. And when I run out of this, I'm definitely going to have to find something to like replace it. I know Clinique has a nice um, essence that I, I don't know if it's nice actually, but I love Clinique and it seemed to have good reviews from what I saw, but it's always sold out on Sephora. So I kind of want to try that one next if it ever becomes available. But until then, this has just been like my favorite essence toner type thing of the year. Um, definitely, if you can find that anywhere, that'd be so cool if they put it on clearance like at TJ Maxx or something like they do with Sephora products. I would buy like all of them. So I have a toner type product. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Frillic and Retinol Wrinkle Recovery Peel. And what these are, they're just like these little individual um, packets that has like a round little cotton thing in it that it's pre-saturated in like the serum. So I really enjoy these for nights where like I don't feel like doing a ton of skincare. I can skip my toner and my serum when using these. Um, you just rub it all over your face and it has like ferulic acid and it has a retinol in it. So I feel like it does a really good job at clearing up any like gunk that you have on your face. I think it is really good at plumping wrinkles. This is something I'll use maybe like once every two weeks because this box only comes with 16 of them and it's in around the $80 range. So I have a, a few left. I think it'll last me until the um, Sephora sale in the springtime and I'm definitely going to buy another box of these. It's just a really foolproof product and if you don't feel like doing a ton of skincare like one night you're kind of feeling lazy. These are really nice and they do a really good job of like clearing up your skin. So I guess I'm just going to roll with the rest of my like nighttime routine skincare. This is something that I got from the dermatologist and this is something that she re my dermatologist recommended that every woman start using in their 20s and this is a retinoid cream. This is the first one that she had prescribed to me. This is um, Tritonin Cream 0.05% and then when I went back, um, I went back to her for the third time actually I think the very end of November and she prescribed me Tritonin Cream 0.1%. So this one is stronger than the 0 0.05. Um, and I have pretty tough skin. I'm combination oily. Um, my skin can take a lot and I've been using this one as much as I can tolerate. If I notice my skin starting to get dry, I'll go back to like this one for a night or so. But this is awesome. Your skin is definitely gonna dry out when you first start using it. So my camera died like usual. Um, I was talking about these two retinoids and they are kind of drying on the skin if you are pretty dry, pretty sensitive. You definitely want to get one that's like a very low percentage, like maybe even lower than the 0 0.05. Um, but my dermatologist recommended to me that you use like the highest dosage that you possibly can um, up until it starts like doing irritation to your skin. So I have pretty strong skin. Um, I try to use this one as much as I can, like I said, and I always use a moisturizer and like an oil over top of it. And not only does this help with like adult acne, it's also gonna start to help you with any like wrinkles and fine lines that you're seeing. So I have 100% noticed a difference in my smile lines and also my 11s that I have in between my eyebrows. And I can only imagine as like I keep using this into my 30s, I feel like it's really going to help me age gracefully and really kind of help me avoid any type of like fillers and stuff like that that I'm going to be wanting. So definitely if you're in your mid 20s, you know, going on to 30s, check out a retinoid. They sell some over the counter as well, like Sunday Riley has the Luna oil, which has a retinoid in it. Um, and then these are covered by your insurance. Well, my my insurance covers it up until like I'm 26. I think I only had to pay like $10 for this. Um, and my dermatologist said that she's in that particular office, they sell it um, 
for like $90 a bottle if your insurance doesn't cover it. So depending where you're at, I mean, obviously prices are going to be different, but it's definitely worth the investment to me. I mean, most like high-end skincare products are going to be in that range. And this is something that, you know, you really are going to need like in your skincare routine as you're aging. So after I've been using my retinoid, I will go in with my favorite serum of all time. This is the classic, the famous, world-renowned Sunday Riley Good Jeans. This is a lactic acid treatment. And what this is supposed to do is exfoliate dead skin cells off of your face. So not only do I feel like it does a wonderful job at doing that, I also feel like it does what it claims in plumping up fine lines and wrinkles. I've used like some other, um, like serums I've used, the Drunk Elephant. That one's a glycolic acid serum. And that one's good, it's just not as good as this one. And also I've been using The Ordinary, um, their lactic acid, and it's nowhere near as good um, as this. So I completely think that the Sunday Riley Good Jeans is worth the investment. I have not found anything else I like better than this. Of course, like I haven't really been looking that hard because I love this so much, I think it's completely worth it. Um, this one, is pretty low. I have another one that I bought um, as a backup when Sephora sent out that like, I think it was like $15 off of like a $50 purchase, something like that. And I bought a, another one of these just so I would have it and I got it on a discount. I knew it was something that I would need. So if you're looking for a really good um, serum and you have some skin concerns, you have texture, you have acne, you have like, um, you know, wrinkles like you're starting to see aging in your face, that is something that, again, is worth the investment. And I recommend that to like anybody to try, even if you're sensitive, use a little bit, and I think it would work wonders for you. So my favorite oil of the year, um, the one that I have right now is the miniature one. This is the Sunday Riley UFO oil, and I had the full size, I used it up. It's in my empties bag that I need to talk about. Um, it's like a green oil. Green's my favorite color, so like that's I think that's why I was drawn to it originally. And this actually goes with like the Martian line, um, the Martian toner that she put out. And it took me about a year to go through the full size of this. I think the full size is one ounce. Um, pretty sure it's one ounce. So I have this little one right now that I've been using and I'll probably repurchase the big one eventually. Um, try to get that one on sale because it's like an $80 oil. Uh, what this has in it is salicylic acid. It's 1.5% salicylic acid in this oil. And I feel like this combined with like everything else that I use, I know I use like a ton of different ingredients and chemicals on my face, but like I said, my skin's very tough and my skin actually loves like a lot of chemicals. I feel like my skin does a lot better than, um, my skin does a lot better with chemicals than it does with like all natural products. I definitely have noticed that over the years. And this is a really amazing oil if you're scared to use oils because you're oily. I'm oily. It's totally fine. This I use at nighttime. I don't really like to use an oil in the morning. It's a little bit too much for me because I kind of make enough oils on my own. But this is really nice over top of like the other products that I've been talking about to kind of give you, you know, some extra hydration. And then it also has that salicylic acid in it that is going to um, go deep into your pores and fight like some some of the acne that's kind of starting in there. So after I use my oil at nighttime, I go on with a moisturizer. My favorite moisturizer, like when I use this stuff, oh my God. So this is the Belief Aqua Bomb, um, the True Cream, and it's like a gel type moisturizer. That's what it looks like. It's a blue type color. Oh, thank you, I was looking for that. <laughs> And this I recommend for more oily skin. They also have the um, moisturizing balm, which is an actual like white cream. And that one, I also have a miniature of that one that I use like when I notice my skin's really dry, but that's not something that I need every day. This is a perfect everyday moisturizer for me. So if you have that combination oily skin, this is just a great like product to finish off your skincare with at nighttime. I don't like this for the morning time. It's a little too moisturizing for me for the morning. But at nighttime when I use this, I just notice when I wake up in the morning, my skin is just like hydrated. It looks so nice. Like my texture has been reduced and I, this is just totally worth it. And it's not like a super expensive um, moisturizer. So the Belief Aqua Balm is hands down my favorite moisturizer. 
So we'll talk about the eye cream that I use at nighttime. This is the Youth to the People Kale and Aloe Sunday Sunflower Oil Tripeptide 5. Like it has the longest name ever. That's what it looks like. It's like a white cream. And I put this all under my eye. And since it has like that white color to it, I feel like it kind of whitens up that area. It makes it brighter and reduces like darkness under there. I don't know, that could all be in my head, but I feel like that's what it does. And recently, um, this winter, I've been experiencing like dryness right here, like on my eyelid. I've never noticed that before, but um, the past couple weeks I've been having that. So I'll, when I put this on under my eye, I'll take it like kind of all around my eye, which I know you're really not supposed to do, but I've been feeling like I need that at nighttime. So that's what I'll do. Um, if I kind of have dryness all over my eyelids. I'm gonna move to my morning skincare and I don't have a ton. Um, I don't have as much as I use like in the nighttime because I feel like in the morning I'm a lot more rushed. Um, I'm a lot um, more careless with my skincare. Like I just kind of want to apply one or two things and then get started on my makeup. I don't want to like spend a ton of time on my face. So I will use a toner or something like the Sunday Riley and then I'll normally go on with like a vitamin c serum and this is the sunday riley ceo rapid flash brightening serum this one's really good um i've used this one this year and also the drunk elephant one and the drunk elephant one is like orange in color and i feel like when you do use that one in the morning time if you're not going on with makeup afterwards your skin can kind of like if you didn't blend it in all the way it'll look orange in certain spots so that's why i like this one better this one's just like a white lotion and it soaks right into your skin so most skincare experts recommend that you use the vitamin C um, every day and the morning time is probably the best time to use it if you're using other products at nighttime. Um, this one is really good. It's pricey but I, I really like it and I like how it goes right into my skin and it looks great under makeup as well. Thank you. Cats are going to start meowing. I'm going to close it. Okay. I just don't want a light shower in the background. Oh, okay. Thank you. But my favorite moisturizer that I've used this year, um, right now, like with a lot of these things, I only have the tiny size because I use the full size up. This is the Sunday Riley CEO moisturizer. So to go with that serum, this is what the moisturizer looks like here. And honestly, when I'm done with this serum, I'm probably just going to buy the bigger size of this again, which I've had and I used up. So once I'm done with this and with this little one, I'm gonna buy the big size of this again and then just use that as like my vitamin C regimen in the morning. This moisturizer is just like my favorite cream I've ever used for the morning time. And it doesn't have a lot of good reviews on Sephora. Like it, it has pretty average reviews, but this to me is like a five-star product. Um, it soaks into my skin like so nicely. It just, it is great for oily skin. I don't know what it is about this, but it feels so luxurious to me. I 100% think it's worth the price tag. I know a lot of people don't like it and they don't want to buy into the hype of this because it doesn't have enough like um, vitamin C in it because it's a moisturizer. It can't soak into your skin as much, but I really feel like it does an amazing job. It does what it's supposed to. It does what I want it to. It's such an amazing texture and if you're unsure on this get like a uh, sample from Sephora first before you take the plunge because the full size of this I believe is $65 um, and they actually sell these little ones now I think they're like in the $20 range for the little one this one came in a set so that's why I have it but um, I really like having the tiny one to travel with so this moisturizer, like I just can't even say enough good things about it. I had the full size, I completely emptied it. I'm about to empty this one here in a little while and I will buy the full size forever and ever. I don't know if I'll ever find a morning time moisturizer that I love as much as that CEO. For my sunscreen, I have the Shiseido Urban Environment Oil Free UV Protector Broad Spectrum SPF 42 for face. Um, this is something that you have to like shake up and whenever you squirt it out, it comes out like a white type. Um, and then it almost blends into like powder. Now, this is something I could use as like a primer. Like I could just use this as my primer. But normally I'll put this on and I'll put a primer on top of it. Just because I have a lot of primers that I want to use. So, um... I have forgotten to use primer though before and I put this on and it keeps your makeup on like all day. It makes your skin matte. 
and it's just like so nice. It'll keep you from getting sunburn. It looks amazing on oily skin. It really helps to control my oils. I don't think that the price tag is crazy for this for what it provides for me. Um, it can be like a sunscreen and a primer all in one. And this little tiny bottle is gonna last you a really long time because you don't need a ton of it. It's pretty liquidy. It absorbs into your skin really quickly. And if you just need a really good like SPF in your life that you can use every day and you're pretty oily or even if you're you know have normal skin try this out I think you would really really like it so the last category that I'm going to move on to is face masks and I have two here that I want to share with you the first one is like my all-time favorite face mask of like life this is my second one um like my second full size this is the drunk elephant tlc sukari baby facial and now this has 25 percent ahas and 25 percent bhas um so ahas that's like your glycolic and your lactic acid and the bhas is like salicylic acid so my skin loves acid it loves chemicals this just has a ton of that good stuff in it and what you do with this you just put it all over your face and it basically like eats off all your dead skin it's so amazing i like to use this now i use this about every two weeks i used to use it like once a week before i got my skin to like a really good place that i wanted it at and if you have sensitive skin you may not like this um, right off the bat just use it very sparingly maybe don't use it for a very long amount of time if you're pretty sensitive but if you have tough skin you need something to really get off like that gross like layer of skin and get rid of texture check this out um they make a smaller size now so if you don't want to take the plunge and pay like 80 dollars for this right off the bat get the smaller size and i feel like it is really really nice the only thing that is weird about this that I mentioned in my empties video where I had the other full size of this in that I used up this year, um, it tastes really bad. So if you get it anywhere around your lips, which I don't recommend doing that anyway because like if you have like sensitive lips, it's probably not going to be the best for you. It tastes like sour milk <laughs> if you get it anywhere near like your mouth. Um, and then when you're rinsing it off, and it, I can like taste it right now that I'm talking about it. If you rinse it off and you like get it in your mouth that tastes like sour milk it's really really gross but keep your mouth closed when you're rinsing it off it's totally worth it this is the best investment in a face mask that you could make and then another mask that i have this is something um it's very like multi-purpose to me i really like to use this in the shower if it's one of those days where i know that i need to mask but I don't feel like sitting there for like 20, 30 minutes with a mask on my face, rinsing it off, putting all my skincare on. You know, you want to do something like quick, get it done with and like see results. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. I had a like kind of like a trial size, but it was still a pretty decent size of this. I used all that up. Um, I don't know if I talked about that in an empty video before or if I just threw it away I can't remember but this has like pumpkin en enzymes in it which I'm not entirely sure like what the deal with that is but you can really feel it like doing something to your skin I don't know what it's doing but like it kind of exfoliates off so it's kind of exfoliating off like your dead skin and a thing with this I can feel it working is like when it touches like when it touches like the outer parts of my lips it feels like numbing and tingly and like I can feel that all over my face as well but I can really feel it around my lips when I accidentally like get it too close to them so what I do with this is I get in the shower I wash my hair and I put conditioner in it and then once I do that and I know I'm not going to be getting my face super duper like wet and splashed um, I will get it like damp. I'll put this all over, kind of like rub it on, make sure I've covered all of my face. And then I will leave it on my face for about, I'd say like 10 minutes. It says leave on for three to seven minutes. That's a really weird like range, three to seven. But I'll leave it on um, while I'm like showering, while I'm like shaving and um, doing whatever else. And then once um, I'm ready to like rinse my conditioner out of my hair, um, I'll like really scrub my skin with this, rinse this off, and when I get out of the shower, mask is completely done. I just wore it the whole time like I was taking my shower, and I feel like it really, really does a great job. I can feel this working on my skin, and I see results after I've used it. So guys, that concludes my last installment of my 2017 
favorites. Um, that was all of my skincare favorites for the year. And a lot of those are just holy grails in general. And I hope you really enjoyed this series. I hope you enjoyed this last video. I know this one was super lengthy, but skincare is something that, you know, you really need to focus on. You need to go in depth with, into depth with. <laughs> um, and I hope that I shared some great recommendations with you, especially if you have a similar skin type to me, if you're around the same age as me, if you struggle with the same skin issues that I do. So I hope these videos helped you out and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.